I'm going to be talking about native code from Elixir. So uh, some of you may, familiar, may be familiar with the concept of foreign function interfaces. It's a mechanism whereby you can call uh, a programming language from another one, um, programs written uh, in two different programming languages, and you can call C code from Elixir using NIFs, amongst, among other things, like port and port drivers, but I'm going to be focusing on NIFs on this talk. So uh, you can see uh, the basic basic low world example from the Earl NIF uh, module documentation. You can see on the Elixir side, if you're using Elixir for this, you can see the load NIFs function and that's basically it. You just load the NIF that it's, that's been previously compiled uh, in C. From the C side, you can see in the code uh, in the bottom that you always have the same function signature, so you always return an Erlang term, which will be your uh, every possible Erlang term that you want to return from from the C land back into Erlang. You have these uh, enif functions in C to coerce um, sort of uh, C land uh, types into Erlang terms, and the function always takes these three arguments, right? The Erlang env the argc and argv, which is exactly what you'd expect. So number of arguments and the arguments themselves as Erl NIF terms coming from Erlang. So I wanted to, to do this to uh, call FFmpeg code, so to manipulate uh, audio and video from uh, video files. And FFmpeg ships with lib AV codec, which is the C library that you can use. It powers FFmpeg and FF, FF probe for you to inspect a given video, see how, how many frames it has, has, uh, the, the type of, of the media that you have, and whatnot. So you have all these functions. You can extract single images, merge multiple videos, etc. So calling FFmpeg C code from Elixir is just as simple as this. In this one here, I'm just getting the format. So if it's a .mov, it will give back QuickTime slash uh, mov or something like that. You can see that I first create a string in uh, the C land with uh, an if get string. So you always have this pattern of an if get or an if make if you're either getting the string from Erlang into C with an if get or an if make to create uh, something something to return back to Erlang. You can see that then I do some manipulations of structs that uh, are in libav codec itself. So this is me interacting with ffmpeg C code and then I create all of the, the a simple map with the key format and then I go grab the, in the uh, third line coming from the bottom, I go grab the context, I format, long name and that gives me the format name. So this has some problems. Uh, slowing, down, slowing down the beam is one of them. Uh, NIFs may starve Elixir. Uh, Elix the, the beam works with reductions, which are usually 2,000 per process, and then you yield the processing to some other uh, process. Dirty schedulers are used for this, where you run the code in a separate scheduler from the default one. It, you, you can also segfault the beam, so your code may crash if you crash the C code, which is not nice because you lose all the processes in state. For kind of going Going around this, you can use Rust. Uh, there's the Rustler library, and with all the memory sa and memory safety guarantees and data race free thread uh, data race free threading that you have in Rust, this can be an option. And if you have more questions, you can follow me on dnlsreno.dev, and I have a, written a blog post about it. Thanks. Well, thank you very much.